friends, this is Dr. Diane from the Discovery Museum. Thank you for joining me today. We're visiting John Lewis and we're going to learn all about where our bees are starting. And they'll be coming to live with us at the museum very shortly. Let's find out some more. Look at column, colony number 20. Let's see what's going on here. We take off the inner cover the outer cover and then we take off the inner cover and you'll notice that there's a lot of bees here they're doing their thing and we're going to just use a little bit of smoke it's a tiny bit of smoke smoke encourages them not to sting and, and it also helps me to move them around a little bit so if I want them to go down I can put a little smoke on them and that gets them to go down and what you see there is a nice big sheet of baby bees. Those are, that's called brood. And all of those will soon hatch out and make nice new bees. So we're gonna see what's on the next frame over. It may be the same or it may not be. You never know. Yeah, and that's the same. Look at that. A lot of bees coming out of there. And one more. Well, that's the same. All right, there's going to be a lot more bees in this colony very soon. And I don't know if you can see this, but if you look carefully down inside that cell, those cells there, you can see a little white thing. That's a larva. So the queen lays a baby bee egg. They're tiny little eggs. And then the egg changes into a little worm-like thing we'll call the larva. And then it goes into a pupa, which is what's under this capping and then it hatches out into adult bee. So bees, like all insects, go through four stages. Just like you go through children and then a teenager, an adult and old person, bees go through four stages. They go through an egg, which the queen lays. They become a larva, which is what you see in there. They become a pupa, which is what we have underneath these cappings and then they become adults, which is what you see running around here. Now we're gonna go into colony number 25. Colony number 25, I think is a pretty strong colony. And we're gonna see what it looks like and what it needs. So you see, on the inner cover, there's a lot of bees here coming to do their work. And I have to use a piece of metal tool to gradually pry up that lid. And I want you to come here close because I want you to see a couple of things. First, you see a lot of bees. They're all going about their work, okay? This is what we like to see when we open a colony. The next thing you want you to see, if you look down here carefully, you will see nice white wax. Nice white wax means this colony is drawing out new wax. And that means it's ready to collect honey. I'll pull some up so you can take a look. But this frame right here tells me that it's time to put a new box on so we can collect some honey. I'm gonna be very gentle. And what you're gonna see is at the top of that, you're gonna see some, you're gonna see some brown wax that's last year's wax. And you're gonna see some glistening liquid inside of those cells. That's nectar that bees have brought back from uh, flowers that's gonna turn into honey. But up here, you see this nice white wax? 
that means that's brand new wax and that means this colony is ready to collect wax or ready to collect honey for me for the for the next year now we want to try something i'm going to get a stick and i want to try some of the honey they're making so i'm going to put that stick down in there and since I'm going to put it in my mouth, I'd rather not have bees on it. Mmm, delicious. That's wonderful new... That's wonderful new nectar that they're just pulling off of flowers and they're going to be turning very soon into honey for me. So I'm going to put that frame back and I need to go and get a box I need to go and get a box to put on there for them to collect honey in okay so I have another box to add on top of my colony and this box has frames of what's called foundation and that's beeswax that's just pressed into a flat frame and it's got a little wooden frame and what I'm gonna do is put this frame down in here and they're going to pull that wax out and they are going to make wax and then they're going to make honey. They're going to fill it with honey. So this colony that right now is four boxes high. I'm going to add a whole box and push my frames together. And pretty soon they'll fill this whole box full of honey for me. And that's all we need to do here. So very gently, I'm gonna cover it back up and let them go about their work. Now I'll check this back, check back in here in a couple weeks and they'll have that filled up with honey for me. And I won't harvest it until about July. But come July, I'll come and take that whole box off and we'll have honey. It's kind of like them, their way of paying the rent.